Uh, tonight we're kicking off our week-long week Road to the Pro Football Hall of Fame coverage with Jacksonville's own Leroy Butler. The Lehigh alum was raised in one of the poorest and roughest projects here in Jacksonville, but he did not allow poverty or physical challenges as a childhood to, as a child, pardon me, to stop him. His path to Canton is nothing less than inspiring. We begin with someone who has been there every step of the way, his oldest brother, Mike. Oldest brother. Correct. Leroy Butler. Correct. Who's the best athlete in the family? If I tell it, I say nothing. If Leroy tell it, he say me. And so what did you play? Everything but soccer. Everything but soccer. Everything but soccer. It, it, is your family, is it, just in you guys' DNA for everybody just to be athletic? In, in a sense, my youngest brother didn't like it. Okay. And Leroy had the hardest time. He had the, uh, you know, he had dedicated press and all that, but he had he couldn't walk mm -hmm. so it was always be gentle with him but being a big brother i'm not about to be gentle we mm -hmm. get on the bed at the house and the pillows was a touchdown edge of the bed three yard line you got to get to the pillows uh -huh. and i never gave him a break and he got about 14 15. he continuously got to that pillow <laughs> <laughs> so at what age were you guys uh, uh competing on the bed to get to that end zone uh i would say i took i was about nine Mm -hmm. So Leroy was about eight, mm -hmm. and you know he had this little dip because of doing things, and but he never let it get him down. He was gonna always try. He, mm -hmm. He's stubborn, hard headed, mm -hmm. you know. So he stayed driven. <clears throat> and I told him, I, y "You get here. Yes. I'm not gonna be soft on you. Mm -hmm. Your legs straight now. Let's do what we got to do." At what point um, did you really begin to to see and know my brother's got that it factor? Yeah, it was about. The, I want to say I was 14. He was 13. We were going to. Uh, Fort Carolina Middle School. By the time fourth game in junior high, Leroy had down like 10, 11 tackles. You know, and this when he was in eighth grade, he had there with 10, 11 tackles. They even put him on the offensive side. He running, you know, getting three carries for like 18 yards. Never played running back. So that's that's when I knew he broke through. Uh, Leroy is never ashamed to talk about you guys living in the projects. Mm -hmm. How did living in such a tough environment help create and, and develop you guys into the men that you are now? Tightness, family oriented, and being humble. You know, when you learn to live without it, you get it is nothing. You don't know you got it. That's why I tell most people they like they meet my brother or meet me. People meet me and say, "That's your brother. Why you never said anything?" It's been my brother my whole life. Same way with him. They see and they're like, he played football. It's not all the pizzazz, not the jewelry, the flashing, the talking. Coming up without nothing make you humble. Make you humble, make you hungry. To make you stick together, our neighborhood, blood is rough as in Jacksonville. And while you say you lived in a rough neighborhood, one mm -hmm. thing I do know, having grown up in the hood myself mm -hmm. back home, is that when people in that neighborhood, when you're one of them mm -hmm. and you've got an opportunity to get out, they embrace you and protect you. Was it the same for Leroy? Oh, exactly. Exactly. I mean, the, the love is natural because you all grew up in the same environment. You go through the same uh, trials and tribulations. But at the same time, you find yourself at war and combatants as an adolescent. But when you become an adult, you know that that hardened everybody. And so you have a, a better sense of camaraderie. It's sort of like being at war, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because that's just how you came up. You knew no better. But as you become an adult, those same guys come around as a camaraderie, and you learn to protect the ones that came from there and always feel like, okay, I'm his brother. But once he made it, the whole Blodges became his brother. You know, mm -hmm. it's not a cousin, it's not a friend. We, we all brothers, and that's what you get. You love to see them make it. When somebody make it, it's a family. Coming up tonight at 11, hear more of my one-on-one -on -one conversation with Mike Butler as he'll share the moment Leroy called him to say he had been elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame and what he thinks their mom Eunice would say if she were alive.